Joining us right now is Tennessee Senator, Senate Judiciary Committee member, Marsha Blackburn. Senator, it's always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for joining morning. me this morning. Yes. Your reaction to what took place so far? I've got to tell you, they did the same thing over and over and over. The aid went to the Ukraine. They cannot prove otherwise. Ukraine got its aid. Trump has done more for the Ukraine than Obama did. So where were these guys when Obama was sending blankets and MREs? Trump sent javelins. He has backed up the Ukrainians. I've got to tell you, Maria, people in Tennessee are not watching this. They are paying attention to the stock market and the great job that happened yesterday with the stock market. Yeah, that, that's what that's what uh, <coughs> Lee Carter said earlier. That people are really not sure what, what to read, how to read into this, Lee. I mean, yeah. They, yeah. A, and you see, you know, the constant uh, sort of changing of the rules and the process, and it, and it makes right. you wonder, you know, what are, uh, is this a scam? Yeah, I think that there the, a lot of people see this as a as a witch hunt on one side, and a lot of Democrats see this as you know their their answer. So I don't think that anything's changed. And I think most people, by and large, are do it, living their life and saying this is a, just a whole lot of noise. And um, Marsha, I agree with you that people are saying the economy is good. Why am I going to pay attention to this? I'm going to wait right. until I see something that's really going to change my mind. <laughs> Nothing that they've seen so far has changed their mind. I think they're waiting for something to happen until they're going to look up. But I am yeah. really curious from your perspective if you think that, I mean, why do you think? Because Republicans right now are actually increasing their support for the president. And why do you think that's happening in the face of this? The reason it's happening is because people are looking at this and they're saying, wait a minute, this all started when Hillary Clinton said, we have to blame somebody, let's blame Russia. You know, they paid Russia to get a dossier. So here's the thing. They're the ones that had the Russian contacts. You have the Uranium One deal. You have Bill Clinton and the Russians. You have Obama with Putin and Medvedev. And then you have them saying, well, let's flip this narrative and make it Donald Trump's fault. That and is that exactly is what they're right. doing. That is, and that the, is what I have been saying. I, I can't take any of this credibly until somebody focuses on re where the real wrongdoing was senator attorney general That's william right. barr yesterday yeah. uh, william barr confirmed an internal report on the origins of fbi's investigation into the trump campaign the ig report is imminent uh, barr said the ig report is imminent what are we going to learn from the ig report and you know people who have watched this for the last three years where the entire country was up in arms over the president colluding and the media drove the bus on this constantly telling us this even though we knew that we, there was no evidence they want answers. My viewers want answers. Where is the IG report and will there be indictments for those people who, who tried to frame the Trump campaign because they simply didn't like him? And what they are saying is, look, you've got this bunch of hill rats and D.C. swamp rats. And what they are trying to do is undo the 2016 election and say, hey, we are so good. We didn't lose this. We had people that took it away from us. And the American people are saying, get to the bottom of this, find out who did this. If they can do this to Donald Trump, they can do it to you. And Maria, people have had so much trouble dealing with federal government agencies. They are sick of the arrogance. Yeah. They are sick of the diminishment. They're sick of the condescension. And they look at people that come in and they raise their hand and say, we're giving you an honest testimony, but yet what are they doing? They're not, they're, they're, they're ignoring it. Game. Even though we've, yeah. got we've got evidence of <clears throat> entrapment, we've got evidence of wiretapping based on a dossier that was paid for by Trump's political enemy, Hillary Clinton and the DNC. And no, I mean, over and over again, Adam Schiff keeps saying, we can't allow one political enemy to investigate another political enemy and use foreigners. Well, excuse me, that's exactly what Hillary Clinton <laughs> and the DNC did in 2016. Steve, you know how I feel about this, and I think you feel yeah. the same. Uh, absolutely. And I was wondering, Senator, uh, what you hear, we've all focused on this IG report, but there are indications that uh, Attorney General Barr is going to go for even bigger game in terms of a real indictments against some of these people like Brennan. Uh, the fact that he's saying in the background, I think, is ominous for uh, the Democrats. He's determined to flush this out. Do you have any insight on that?
This after three years we, of him going on CNN and on MSNBC saying that President Trump committed treason. This well, from the former shit, director of the CIA. Yeah, the Brennan. And, right. uh, and, and, and here's, uh, but, uh, here's uh, the thing, Steve. Here's the thing with the IG report. People know that what the Democrats are doing is trying to create a narrative and then find a way to make that narrative come true. And they know that what you have been hearing from people like Brennan is not exactly true because Hillary Clinton and the Democrats paid for the dossier that underpinned this whole thing. Yeah. So what we're going to do is receive this report. We'll be able to do some review. We'll be able to do some hearings. I'm looking forward to it. I want to make certain that we get to the bottom of this, that we clean it up. It is all part of draining the swamp. Donald Trump was right to say, let's get to the bottom of what has occurred so that it never happens again to any president and to the American people because they want to find this out. They want yeah. to see who did right. Who did wrong? So, so bottom line here, Senator, as we wrap up, <clears throat> anything strike you about yesterday's hearing, about the public hearing so far that will put the president in any jeopardy? Uh, and, and do you expect the impeachment process to go forward? Will they impeach him in the House? What happens when it gets to you and your colleagues in the Senate? We'll see if they take a vote in the House. I don't think there was any stunning revelation yesterday other than the fact that everybody in front of them had second, third, fourth, or fifth-hand knowledge. Right, right. They did not have direct knowledge. It's true. And that was not lo lost on a lot of the Tennesseans that I talked to. I got to tell you, I think people turned off the news and watched the CMA Awards last night in Tennessee. Hey, did you and watch it? Did you watch it, Senator? I got bits and pieces of it, and I have to tell you, I loved it. The fact that you had Dolly and Reba and Carrie Underwood and that Casey Musgraves, who is such a beautiful singer, her uh, song with Willie Nelson, Rainbow Connection, that was absolutely spectacular. <laughs> it really was. We're looking at some video here. I'm um, glad you mentioned that, Senator. It's good to see you this morning. Yeah. Thanks so much. Good to see you. Senator Marsha Blackburn joining us there. Coming up.